12 hours, 800 miles. Let's go. Good morning, guys. Time is currently 6.50. We park outside a Walmart parking lot this night, Thursday morning. We gotta keep going to Indiana because I'll go up and put my race engine back in my race bike. PC called me yesterday and told me it was ready and they're gonna ship it up there. So it's gonna be nice to get it back and get it done. Princess is already inside. She had to pee. <laughs> so she ran away from me. We're in Walmart so early. There's nobody here. Love it. Princess is fixing some tomatoes. I don't know what I look like. Tired. <laughs> So what are you up to? Tomatoes and avocado. I fix strawberries and bananas. Maybe some onions. Some onions. Apples. Apples, yeah. Gotta go for some apples. These ones over here is good. A lot of fruits. We love fruits. That that's food for the rabbits. You are like a rabbit. No. You know what I mean. <laughs> what do you have there? You're putting me on pension or what? You gotta send me home to Denmark now. <laughs> so we just arrived in Indianapolis. And uh, do you think we're gonna get into the track tonight? Nope. But we're gonna try again. Now I don't have to sneak me in. I have the credentials. So let's go and try. Good morning, guys. We are now at Red Bud. No? Good morning, guys. We are now at Iron Man. We have been sleeping down in the city because my bad luck never ends. This time my generator died. <laughs> so I had to find a place down in the city I could plug in and get some power and it worked. Now we are in line. See all the cars behind us. We are currently number four to get in the paddock. That's how it is. Every week struggle to get a nice spot. Gotta be here early before all these big rigs behind me. Gonna take all the good space and hoses for the washing, so. We just made it to Iron Man. It's pretty hot here, so we're kind of sweating our asses off. This is the current race bike. PC is picking up his engine at the hotel. Not arrived yet. Not here yet, so we just hope for the best. How are you feeling this weekend? I'm tired right now. <laughs> Most important thing for the weekend, curls. No, it's not. You good? How does it look? Let me see how babe you are. I don't know. Looks good. <laughs> so the case is my engine is stuck in Tennessee. It's not gonna be here for this weekend, even PC said it would be. And the spare engine they have a 20 engine and I'm running 19 bikes so pretty bad uh, I will need a few components to make this as a 20 so I will need I will need some engine mounts or output hose water hoses and then we could actually make it work but they don't have that spare in the truck they only have the engine so I'm left over with my practice bike here so not pretty satisfied with that 47 hours on the thing right now and as you can see pretty stuck so also, the pipe broke last week. Yeah. <laughs> so we're running stuck pipe. So. And the practice bike engine is so much slower than your race bike engine, so. It's way slower, so. That sucks I don't know pretty what to bad. Do right now. Yeah. Hopefully, you don't need a fast engine on this track. Huh! <laughs> I definitely need a fast engine on this track. Oh. Just making the bike ready. Yeah. Practice? <laughs> coming in hot. I think it's coming in really slow, but that's coming okay. In slow, like a turtle. Like a sneaky turtle on the inside down the start straight behind everybody, taking the short inside line and gonna pass everybody. That's the new nickname, the sneaky turtle. The sneaky turtle. You know, it's not so loud. They're sneaking, sneaking in on the front pack. Go to Lauren, the best in the best boys. Go get some if you don't have some. <laughs> Ta-da! Here's our rig. 
pretty tight. Here we got the sneaky turtle. And here we have the race bike. I don't know why I'm not more disappointed, but I can like I kind of already knew that this would happen, you know. Yeah. Everything just go wrong. Everything go wrong. <laughs> Three tires on the trail, on the car and trailer and generator up and yeah. Always up there. <laughs> Always up there. So what are you doing now? Making her ready. Like she definitely need a new chain and some new I need another kind of tires and Thankfully, Pirelli helps you out pretty good, yeah. though. That's a good thing. It's new, MJ. Oh, okay, so PC got told my engine was in Tennessee. Tracking on my told us the engine was in Tennessee. But now the whole PC team is at the hotel and eating, and guess what shows up? Your engine. My engine shows up at the hotel at the whole PC team. So they called me and said they had my engine. So now I have to take all the parts back again to the race bike and fix the race bike ready so I can race tomorrow morning and the time is currently like 7 p.m. 7 p.m. and this is um, this is race bike building going on race bike building <laughs> so. yeah that's how it is that's how it is that guy came with the bike came with the bike so maybe we could try to help Maybe we could swap an engine in it if PC had a 20 engine, but... But no need to do that no now. Need to do that. But that was really kind. We actually just started by saying, hey, what's up guys, I'm watching your vlogs. Yeah. Do you need anything? And I said, yeah, 20. I said, okay, ready. <laughs> so, eyes of him. Really nice of him. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, just making everything ready to put the motor in. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Motor in, rim some. Hopefully I have PC have my pipe with too, so I can get my pipe. And we saw a lot of you guys commenting that it was so nice the PC helped out and you're gonna be so fast with a PC engine. Well I'm just gonna tell you, <laughs> it's not a PC engine, they just wrapped it for me. And I paid a fortune for fucking yeah. it. So they didn't really... They just fixed the problem and charged. They helped me out a little bit, but still they charged a lot of money to do that. So this morning I maxed all my credit cards out to get it done. Yeah, but they made made it for one week. So they were the only one that could do that and they had all the parts stock and everything. So that was our only option to make the race bike ready for this week. So um, they only had like five days to fix it. So. So I was bummed that the engine blew up, but it was actually the crank, like some bronze sitting down in the crank that went bad. So the rod was kind of loose and shit. So nothing to do with my mechanic work whatsoever. <laughs> Just making that statement. Just making that <laughs> statement. And I'm gonna have the parts with the engine here when I get it, the used parts, so I can actually see what's have been going on. So I can show you guys if you want to see. So. That's nice. But why was it so expensive if it, that was the only problem? Because it took all the metal spuns. Because the problem created some metal spuns, so, so it took kind of all the metal spuns through the engine and fucked the oil pump and a stator and oh. some exhaust valves and seats and the head and stuff. So that's kind of why. So it was a lot of things that got broken, because basically. Of that. Yeah. Because of that, yeah. So. You have practice in 13 Eight. hours. 8 in the morning, B practice, because I finished so bad last week and actually didn't even finish anything, so... B, B practice at 8 a.m. and it's currently 7.15 p.m.
Florida water is way, way warmer, that's for sure. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> motor shower. Working on bikes the whole day. You got the motor dial in. Yeah, hopefully. So, Matthias is riding at 8, that's 15 minutes. So, we had a really busy morning, but let me just show you real quick. Got some breakfast, got some new FXR gear, new 60 helmet. Bike started and it's ready to go. <laughs> Ready for second practice. Track is sloppy. <laughs> hey guys, I just came in from second practice, second qualifying. And until the last lap, I hold the first qualifier. So I think I also finished at the first qualifier, but it's difficult to say, like, if people cross the finish line after me, you know, but overall, really good session out there. It's pretty muddy. Steve is currently washing bike number two today. Also washed off the first model. I can feel that I have been working hard yesterday with the bikes and stuff and time to get some rest and some good food this morning so we can be ready for the first model because I have a good feeling about this one, so follow. So, I don't know what Matthias really thinks about my washing work, because he always, he always ends up doing it. <laughs> in always, always in his underwear and socks and flip-flops. <laughs> what a clown. Last for circuit guy, 18, me, 22, a wall. I need it. Get the job done.
been an exhausting weekend. We are done. Done. Hello guys. Thanks for all the love we are getting from you. <laughs> it is time to pick a winner for the jersey. Yep. Thanks for all the love we're getting. 408 comments. That's a lot. Crazy. Okay, so let's go. Stop. Ronnie Mac, loving the vlogs. He have a picture of uh, Johnny Bravo from. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Johnny Bravo. <laughs> it's from cartoons. Cartoon Network. Okay, so Ronnie Mac. Ronnie Mac or Johnny Bravo? What do you want to get called? Contact us. So Ronnie Mac is your is your name, but you have a picture of Johnny Bravo on your profile. So contact us, guys, and we will get a ride at Jersey off to you ASAP. And. We actually almost hit 5,000 subscribers now from the current last video we had. So we only need 10 subscribers and then we're gonna make a new giveaway again. A rider shirt <laughs> or and a pair of goggles, brand new. So comment, like, subscribe to the channel, show us some love. We're gonna pick out two new winners for the next video in our comments. Peace out.